Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a fairly common neurological condition that we see throughout the world. It's so common we get about 200 new diagnoses each day. And most of these diagnoses are female, usually around 30 to 40 years of age. And unfortunately, this is a terminal condition. Once you have MS, almost everyone has MS forever until it takes their life. Hi, my name is Dr. Zach Shaw, and I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And as upper cervical doctors, we see a decent amount of MS patients. So let's first ask, what is MS? So multiple sclerosis, like we said, is a condition of the nervous system where the immune system attacks certain cells in the nerve system. So all your peripheral nerves are everything outside of the spinal cord that go to your arms, your legs, your heart, your lungs, all your organs. Each one of these nerves has something called myelin that surrounds the nerve. The myelin is there for conduction. What that means is you have electrical signals going on through your nervous system, and the myelin allows those signals to be distributed at a quicker rate. However, in multiple sclerosis patients, this myelin starts getting eaten away by the immune system. And so we start to have issues like uh, numbness and tingling in the legs and the arms and hands. We start to have eyesight trouble. Sometimes we have hearing loss, taste loss, and it's all because the myelin is getting eaten away from the nerves, and so these nerves start malfunctioning, if you will, okay? And over time, it gets worse and worse and worse. The more myelin that gets eaten away, the worse the symptoms get, to the point where uh, people at the end stages of MS, they can't swallow, a lot of them can't speak or see or hear, they can't walk anymore, most are wheelchair bound by the end of their life. It's a very terrible condition, debilitating condition, um, that really conventional care doesn't really know what to do with, unfortunately. You know, a lot of these neurodegenerative diseases, we just throw some medications at you to hopefully help with the symptoms, give you some relief, but it never gets to the cause of the multiple sclerosis. And that's what we're here for. As upper cervical doctors, we get to the cause of every condition, which is a problem with the nerve system, which is exactly what multiple sclerosis is, okay? Actually, there's research that shows how upper cervical care helps multiple sclerosis patients. This study was done in 2015, and it was a study of 77 patients out in Italy. Every single one of them had multiple sclerosis or cerebral spinal insufficiency. Okay? What that means is the CSF or the flow, or I'm sorry, the fluid in the nervous system is impeded, okay? which we start to get multiple sclerosis symptoms with that. And the results say that the differences between the clinical symptoms before and after the specific treatment of C1, C2, or those upper cervical bones, are statistically significant. That means that the upper cervical care given to these MS patients worked on all 77 of them. Now, did it completely uh, get rid of the MS? No. Some of them were completely symptom free. But every single one, all 77, saw some type of benefit with upper cervical care. Unbelievable, unbelievable research here. And so it just goes to show that upper cervical care does help these MS patients. Why? Because when we find the subluxation or the misalignment at the top of the neck, putting pressure on the brain stem or part of the nervous system, we start to see symptoms. We start to see the nervous system malfunction, the whole body malfunction. And so when we correct that misalignment, we start to get the nervous system to work properly. Now the brain's telling the immune system, hey, this is just myelin surrounding the nerves. It's not a foreign invader. You don't have to attack it. And thus the immune system stops attacking the, the nerve. The MS symptoms start to go away. 